How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is safe and uh, sound. Uh, today, uh, you've probably seen uh, Tarantula Theme Video Part 3, which I'm going to be editing. Uh, this is going to be a video from uh, a real review for Cheyenne Walsh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A big, big box. So uh, that's pretty cool. So she comes from the Canada, uh, the West Coast, and she is a religious watcher of my videos and she, I'm the reason that she got into spiders. So she's been really good at keeping up to date and, and posting uh, <laughs> mature males that she has available to breed and, and she needs as mature males, but unfortunately I don't have that many mature males, especially the species uh, she's looking into. But anyway, uh, she wanted, she sent me an email asking if I was, um, be willing to uh, purchase um, three arboreals, so it's a triage of nice species. So uh, we're going to see what's inside it. All right, so this is a video of a good reviewer. Um, unfortunately, um, I posted a BOI against uh, one of the my other purchases from Austin Sargent. Uh, promised he would ship me the the overnight shipping and. That was March 23rd, now we're April 2nd, didn't receive anything, so uh, unfortunately uh, that's still everywhere. So I'm, the reason why I'm wearing gloves is of course to protect myself, I uh, don't want to get infected, because who knows what happens. It's, it's really been a crappy year, especially now with my Metallica passing away. Now, you know, I got some more bad news, is that my, I just lost my Lividum too, so. And you saw in the video, it's perfectly fine too. It like ate the super. I, I just don't understand. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna open up this package here. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm getting into, so uh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. I have no idea how uh, big they are. So I know it's uh, Carabina Laeda and. Pseudopomorus gigas, which is the orange tree spider. And you know, ironically enough, remember the, that one I showed in part two? Uh, she actually freshly molted, so uh, I'll give you a little clip of uh, her. Okay, so we have like two boxes here. Okay, I don't understand, okay. Let's see what's inside this box here. It may be just uh, for insulation, but you never know. Yeah, that's just insulation, just protected for this huge box. I can see that you know she packed it really well. Uh, there is the insulated box. Of course, we need to have insulated because it's. Now beginning of April, it's getting warmer, but you know, still a little bit too cold for uh, tarantulas to be shipped. And you know, it's ironic that I was able to get it in time. Okay, so I'm making a big mess. I'll have to vacuum this up. Get the tape out. And voila, perfect. So I'm not sure if you can actually see uh, this is a gorgeous packing job, highly recommended. You have the uh, heat pack, okay, it just hardened up so it means that it expired, but I think that he should be okay. Alright, so now I'm opening up the... Uh, Oh, there, there's one, and there's two. There's three, ooh, they're, they're cold. I think they're ready. Oh, there's a fourth one. Oh, there's another, what's oh, the bonus one? Oh, H. Poker P's male, ooh. 
darn, okay. I mean, I can always try with my female and hope for the best. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I didn't prepare uh, the enclosure for it, so to, the, the point of this section here is to make sure that uh, they're alive and well. So we're going to start off with uh, the male. Uh, this is a Harpactera pulcherpes, which is the golden blue leg baboon. <laughs> I should have said Grandma Stola instead of uh, our bacteria, but it was right after she sent it, so. Okay. Let's see the... Fulker peas. Done. Okay, he looks supposed to be in one piece. A little shaking up. Oh, there we go. We got some movement. Oh, perfect. Yeah, he's alive. Yay! Okay, mature male, Harbacteria pulcher piece. Success. And guys, I'm not going to keep them in here for very long. I'm just going to prepare the cages and show you guys what they look like. But uh, here we go. Mature male, high bacteria, focal bees. I think my female should be breedable. We can certainly try and see what happens. Okay, so he's doing well. That's good. One for four. Very good. This one. Okay. And it's a good idea that she actually labeled them too, so that I know what they look like. But All right, this one next is Carabina Laeda, which is the Puerto Rican pink toe. Oh, I destroyed the label. Okay, this one's number two. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my uh, vacuum thing, but anyway. Okay, you can see. Yep, that one's alive and well. I'll, don't worry guys, I'll take a little picture of this on the tripod. Well, I'll take it off my camera on the tripod, but that's doing well. I know you won't be able to see. Carabina bitey. <laughs> I love that. It's too bad that I destroyed the label. Okay, this is number one. I can see the legs on, on this one. Okay. Two. Number one. <laughs> ah, this is perfect. In here, she wrote female Carabina Laida, fast and bitey. Well, we know that for sure because uh, Carabina Laidas aren't very friendly species, so I can tell we're going to have a nice smooth transaction with this one. Oh yeah, full grown. And they're two years old too, so uh, you can see that it's in perfect health. Oh, look at that. Right off the bat. So this is going to be especially fun to transfer. Yeah. Ever seen a pink toe do that before? No. That's Carabina Laida for you. The next one we're going to uh, be looking at 
darn, I wanted to save those labels, but anyway. Uh, Sulucomorus gigas, this is the orange tree spider, a very nice desirable spider. It's unfortunate that you don't see very many Tapanikinis in the hobby. Uh, they were one time and all of a sudden they disappeared. And it's kind of a shame because uh, they're really underrated species. And uh, I was wanting to have a gigas and I have one here, which is that little small one I got from Reptile Plus. Uh, that one bolted and it looks to be in really, really nice shape. And I'll be showing to you right after in this video. And I just, she asked me if I wanted this female as well and said like, hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah, I wanted one. Okay, so. Once again, uh, I'm just gonna see if they're alive and then I'm gonna start to uh, prepare the enclosure and then we're gonna have another section I'm gonna cut off and uh, we're going to rehouse them. And I'm not looking forward to those carabino ladies, that's for sure, let me tell you. Okay. Okay. Looks like my little sling, except small, bigger. And I just wanna see if he's okay. she made it. All right guys, so I just uh, finished uh, preparing the enclosure. So a little update on the P. gigas, you know, outlook not so good, but I mean, I'd rather still be optimistic. Uh, here's her. I mean, she's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry you won't be able to see it in the package. I mean, she's in perf. I mean, her abdomen is reasonably well shaped. I, sh I mean, the paper towels were dry, so I believe she could be dehydrated. Uh, because these guys require a little bit more humidity than others. And I don't know, so um, I don't really get very move, much movement from her. Uh, I do get an occasional uh, flickering of her hind legs and uh, a little bit of the spinnerets, but, but other than that, uh, you know, um, I look not so good on this one. So that's, it's a crying shame because it's a really, really nice species. So you can see very, very gently you can see her spinnerets move. I don't know if that's just nerves or pulsing. You see that there? Okay, well, anyway. So I'm not going to rehouse this one yet until later, but I do want to show you the other T. gigas. Uh, this will be pending a rehouse very soon. I believe it to be a female. You can see there's the molt and there's the new spider. Really nice. Uh, looking specimen. It grew like considerably. Uh, when I bought it, it was about an inch and a half. I would say she put about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. It's amazing. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so anyway, we have four enclosures set up here. Uh, one of them is a special tarantula that you know that uh, wasn't part of uh, Cheyenne's deal. 
Um, I'll get that into a second. So we're housing three arboreals and one terrestrial species. So um, these two right here are going to go to my avic, well, formerly avic, a Carabina lieta, which is a Puerto Rican pinto. Uh, just simply a um, one gallon uh, Rubbermaid jar with some substrate. I use Eco Earth, the one that comes in the brick, and a little cork bark. I do have to go to the dollar store and get those little uh, small uh, paint holders so that could be served as a water dish. For now, I'll just uh, keep the uh, substrate humid. And there goes the second one, very similar identical setup. And uh, this one here. Uh, it's going to be a Heteroscrodra maculata. That was one of the new tarantulas I picked up from Reptile Plus. Uh, I'm still going to get that uh, C. guanaciensis, but I, I believe they have some cobalt blues. I might just uh, pick one up uh, to replace the mid. Uh, the, I mean, that's just shocking to see like uh, her in that state. So we have this one here, and this guy, obviously, it's a terrestrial that's going to go to that uh, mature male uh, Harpractera pulcropi. So Oh, <laughs> there we go. Actually, not bad. There he is, he's doing the live, doing well. There's the female. Whoops, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he's lively, here she is, I think. I think they're about fair size. I think that I should get a breedable pair. I think things already tapping. Nice, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna feed the female very well before I actually do this uh, mating attempt. But uh, there you go. That was an easy peasy one. Harpactura pulcropes, which is the golden blue leg baboon. Okay, now for the interesting part, uh, the arboreals. And it sucks that I don't have the person that's filming me. So. Uh, there we go. All right, let's do the H maculata. I want to get that over and done with. It's the best I can come up with at this uh, point in time. So what I'm going to do, ooh, what I'm going to do right now is try to get her out. Love its home. Come on, Gary. Okay, there we go. Now I do want to go check very fast. That's the ventral. Ugh. Okay. Let's get this on macro so you can see closely. Oh boy. All right. Uh, all right, so camera wise, you won't be able to see very closely because it kind of sucks, the camera. Let me get the flashlight. Turn on flashlight. It's on. Okay, so let me go in here and zoom in and try to focus. Hmm. I would say female question mark. I'm gonna need a good molt uh, to decide. So turn on flashlight. It's off. I mean, if he's male, so what? I, I have a a, uh, a young female you saw in the video. So let's get him inside the enclosure, and then that'll be that. This is definitely the more scary one compared to uh, 
well, I haven't seen those laid up, and I know for sure that one of them decided to nearly bite me, so I don't know what's going to go, it's going to go happen, but this is a nice calm one. You know, something that you don't rarely, you don't usually see in H. maculatus, but honestly, they're one of the more beautiful spiders, uh, one of my favorite uh, African arboreals. I know uh, Ryan Mack actually got into contact with him, as I said in the last video, and uh, he should be uh, bring that big uh, geniculata in due time. So yeah, anyway. Beautiful specimen. There we go. Okay, that was easy. I love that one. Okay. Okay, now for the piezo resistance, let's do Avic, you know, Carabina Versi color. <laughs> no, Carabina Laeta. Puerto Rican pink toe. So, let me get the enclosure. Do, do, do. Yeah, let's do number one. That's the one that tried to, to bite me. Okay, there we go. It's a really healthy specimen, by the way. Here, I forgot to show it to you what she looks like. No, this is a two-year-old female, so in perfect health, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Jesus Murphy, hug a rainbow. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> oh my God, you gotta love this. Definitely fast and bitey, that's for sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. How am I gonna do this? bit nervous on this uh, rehouse. Jeez, that was a strike there. Okay, I'm trying to hold this camera while I'm doing this one-handed. Sell yourself down, my god. <laughs> okay. This is definitely fast, definitely bitey. Okay. So, let you walk inside so you can get a nice video. Boom. Okay, look at the second one. Okay, round two. Let's see this one. Let's see how. Okay. Again, looks very beautiful. It's very similar to the first one. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, well, definitely very fast, not as bitey as the second one, as the first one, but. Let's see. You can see that uh, very plump abdomen, very healthy.
Oops. That's not what's supposed to happen. Okay. Careful with this one. Come on. There we go. Done. Oh my god, that is one lightning fast tarantula, and uh, definitely not worthy of an Avicularia name. <laughs> Okay, so uh, thank you so much to uh, Cheyenne Walsh for providing me these excellent tarantulas. Uh, so we rehouse the uh, mature male Harpactera pulcher piece, uh, which is over here. Where is he? Yeah, he's over here. He's very small, but definitely mature male. There is the Carabina Laeda, number one. Leda number two, and I have a third one. Uh, this one is not hers. This is the, the one I got from Tank, uh, sorry, uh, Reptile Plus. Actually, you know what? I think that may be female. Let me just uh, have a look. Yep. Yeah, I think. I think around now it's around 80% confirmed female, but I need to do I do need a molt uh, for that one and uh, gonna wait for this one right here. Uh, that is the Pseudoclamoris gigas. Hopefully it uh, it pulls through. If not, then it's such a shame. But otherwise, I'm still uh, very satisfied uh, for uh, her transaction. The more can be said from that guy Austin Sergeant um, that uh, unfortunately took my money and uh, left and I've been trying to contact him numerous times and he's gone. Alright guys, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you all stay safe from this uh, stupid virus and uh, Resident Evil 3 is coming out tomorrow so uh, sweet and uh, that's about it pretty much. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.